Welcome to another episode of How to ABX. It is silent season and today is 9-10-2023. It is Combat Hero Day. I'm going to be doing a swap cancel, so I'm going to talk briefly about this rotation, show it in action, and then talk about a lot of alternative options for today. So our main damage dealer is going to be Moon Knight with a Rage. You're going to throw three, three delayed until you see the throwed object so it can explode, four cancel five. Five, you'll hop in the air and land and then you can cancel five too. And then you're going to do two delay cancels you through the little moon boomerang deals. And then you're going to use six. And you're going to wait until two is on cooldown. And then you're going to do a two, one, three, four, five. Rinse and repeat. Pretty straightforward, pretty easy rotation. Now for the cancel, I'm actually going to swap instead of using striker cancel. Because Moon Knight can't cancel today uh, for silent season. So this season period, you're either going to need to use a striker cancel, such as Blue Dragon or you're gonna need to swap to someone who can cancel, such as She-Hulk. So I have a Rage in my She-Hulk for Combat Female Day, and basically her rotation is three, you're gonna wait till she punches, then you're gonna do a two, five, four. Four is gonna be your cancel skill. And then you can throw a one in there, and then you can do a three, delayed cancel for the punch again, two, five, six, and at that point, you're gonna wanna switch back to Moon Knight because you'll be able to swap back to him. So as long as you're switching back to him, this is the swap canceling I tend to score the most with but I will talk about alternate options as well afterwards if you want to stick around so let's go ahead and see this rotation in action and then we again we'll dig into it a little bit further so switching right to Moon Knight I'm gonna do that three delayed four five he's gonna jump in the air land two six wait until two's on cooldown two one three four five seven as soon as it's ready you can use seven whenever you want if you do have Blue Dragon for the cancel or someone as a striker cancel, you would actually have to pay attention to when the roars are and make sure that you have your 7 for the cancel. Uh, you get your 7 every other rotation, so just keep that in mind, that if you don't have enough time to do a full rotation to have that on cooldown, you are not going to be able to use that for your cancel. Alright. 2, 1, 3, 4, 5... We are getting close to roar. Roar number one is around 209. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this off. And I'm going to go ahead and pop a 345 and then swap to She Hulk. As soon as he is targetable, I'm going to do a 3254. You can use it right away. You'll see the cancels right there. Jump, kick down, one. And then we're going to do another punch. And we're going to do a 256. I don't wait for this. I swap right back to Moon Knight. Uh, because even though you could wait for the burst damage. I tend to notice that I score a little bit more getting right back into using Moon Knight because he damages more than waiting for that 6 on She-Hulk. Obviously experiment a little bit, see what works better for your team. And again, you might not even have She-Hulk ready for a swap cancel, you might not have the uniform. And if that's the case, like I said, we'll talk about different options. You're basically going to use the exact same rotation here for Moon Knight, you're just going to save your 7 and use your striker for canceling. All right, he's jumping to the center again. So three punch two five four. There's the cancel. Jump kick one. And we're gonna do another punch two five six, and then I'm gonna swap back to Moon Knight three four five seven. Jump in the air two six. Wait until your two's on cooldown two one three four five. Jump in the air two one. Okay, three, four, five, seven. Jump in the air, two, one. And I should be able to get just the beginning of the next rotation. And it's not a full rotation, but I, I get to charge up my other skills, so I like to do that. As soon as he's targetable, two, five, four. I'm sorry, three punch, two, five, four. One, two, there's the punch. I'm sorry, three, there's the punch. Two, five, six. Swap back to Moon Knight as soon as possible. Three, four, five, seven. Jump in the air. Two, six. Wait for Tool to be on cooldown. Two, one, three, four, five. Jump in the air. Two, one. Should get enough time for one more rotation here. Three, four, five, seven. All right. Jump in the air. That was not as high as my last run. The very last run I did was 11.9 million. I was using this exact team up and I was using this exact cancel. I was experimenting a little bit because there are options for today and I wanted to see what was making me score the most. A well-built Moon Knight has the capability of doing 12 million. But my Moon Knight isn't like super well-built. So let's talk about my account. 
the team ups I'm using and alternate team up options and different things you can use for today. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you my cards first. I do this every time in all my videos because I think it's important to know how my account is built so you know why I'm scoring what I'm scoring. So right away, we're going to get a cards. View all. There's my cards. You want to pause it and read? Go for it. Over here is the X-Swords. Okay. Moon Knight. Let's go to Moon Knight. So Moon Knight is going to need his Marvel Studios Moon Knight uniform. I do have it at Mythic. Uh, if you want to see the options, I'll just show them real quick. Again, pause if you want to see them, but I'm just going to go through them kind of quickly. Okay. Custom gear is a rage. It is rolled to the point .9. It's a normal rage. I do have his artifact. His artifact does increase the damage he does. I have the ISO 8 set overdrive. Make sure there are six stars, all red. Doesn't matter which attack set you use, overdrives, Hawkeyes, or Power of the Angry Hulk. Just depends on where your stats are. As long as you get your stats where you need them, there's not necessarily a better one. Some characters have certain stats that are naturally lower, so sometimes there's recommended um, ISO 8 sets, but I just kind of go with whatever I roll. Max status type, uh, skill, I'm using Black Widow as a striker. Black Widow is a great option for today. But again, if you're going to use someone else, for when I'm doing cancel without swapping and using a different lead, which I'll talk about in a minute here, I will typically use Blue Dragon, uh, specifically with this uniform, which is the Moon Temple Defenders, because if you click on this skill, you'll see silence is there for two seconds. So as long as you have the silence on the striker skill, you can use a striker cancel instead. Maybe I'll show you a run of that. Here's all of his gear. Everything's amplified. If you're using Urus, just make sure there are at least five stars. I do have some Odin's Blessings on him. Here's his overall stats. All right. And She-Hulk, because I'm swapping to She-Hulk. Yeah, She-Hulk should be down here in the Tier 3s. So you need Marvel Studios She-Hulk Attorney at Law. And like I said, I've got a Rage on her. Uh, that's pretty much all you really need to know about She-Hulk. I will at least show you this stat page here. Uh, I'm just using her for canceling for the most part, but I do use her on Female Combat Day because there is a swap rotation deal that you can use with her in order to get the most out of Combat Female Day. Uh, so that's what I've got set up. Let me talk about teams, the team I have built up, alternate options, and maybe we'll do one more run and we'll just speed run it without doing a swap cancel. So 11.9 million is the most I scored with this team. You get the 60% damage dealt for males. Frost Beast is considered a male, so you have that leadership from She-Hulk. Uh, and then I don't think she gives you anything else. Let me just double check her uniform. I'm pretty sure you just get that leadership option. Yeah, there's nothing else that she's doing for you other than that leadership option. And there is a better lead option, especially if you're going to use a, a swap cancel. Uh, Moon Knight here, you know what Moon Knight is doing. And then she, uh, blah, blah, Valkyrie, not She-Hulk, Valkyrie over here. All allies are getting this uh, damage dealt by 55%, so she's on the team for that purpose. And then she's also my insight character. It's always good to have an insight character on these teams. So she's doing two things there. She's doing that passive damage dealt plus the insight. So, yeah, this is the team that I'm scoring the most with. However, and watch me actually outscore, I actually recommend that if you are going to use a striker cancel, you use M'Baku. M'Baku gives you not only a 30% increase to physical attack, but he also has this 45% for damage dealt. It's 20% less than She-Hulk, but he also has an artifact. If you don't have his artifact, She-Hulk's probably a better option. But with his artifact, he's also going to do additional damage increase as well. So he's actually a really good lead and a really good character to use. Definitely a good option to consider. So She-Hulk or M'Baku lead. Um, obviously, if you don't have Moon Knight with this uniform, you could also consider using She-Hulk for today. Venom does pretty decent at Tier 4, but I feel like Moon Knight does better, so Venom is definitely an option for today. I would avoid uh, both Wolverine and Captain America because they don't seem to score as much. Unfortunately, Blade is just not up to par. I've tried him with Rage, and he just doesn't do good today. Crescent used to be good. You could have Crescent if you have her built. She could also work as a lead if you wanted to. Uh, apparently, Black Panther is about to get a Tier 4 in a uniform, so he might be a good option for today. Civ is a pretty decent option, but unfortunately, even with the Rage, which I have her with, you could use her with her leadership, and her uniform does do enhancements. So you could use Civ for the leadership here, with Civ and Valkyrie, and then any other character. But M'Baku and She-Hulk tend to be better lead options, in my opinion, than using Civ. And I have a Rage on Civ. You could do like a swap cancel deal with, with Civ and She-Hulk if you have them both built. 
but honestly, it, you're just you're going to score much less than if you use one of the other characters. Uh, aside from that, there's really no one else that I would recommend using uh, on your team, whether it be lead or support or for damage dealt. I, I've messed around with Shang-Chi. I've got a pretty decently built Shang-Chi with a rage, and he just doesn't, he's just not up to par, unfortunately. So those, those are the options. I would order them like this. I would say Moon Knight is number one, Venom is number two, She-Hulk is number three. Those would be my top three recommendations for uh, ABX for today. But I have a feeling when Black Panther gets his tier four, there's a very good chance he's going to replace Moon Knight. So we'll just have to keep an eye out for that. But as I'd mentioned, I said I was going to at least do one more run with a striker cancel in case you do not have She-Hulk built. Or maybe you just don't want to do the swap canceling. So who I typically end up using is I will typically end up using Blue Dragon because of the silence. I know there's other characters that you could probably use, and there's probably other options, but this is who I like to use if I'm going to use an M'Baku lead. And this is my previous team that I was using uh, until I recently worked on She-Hulk for Female Combat Day. So let me go ahead and do one quick run of that. I'll go ahead and speed run this. I won't be talking through it. Well, maybe I shouldn't speed run this, actually. Let me go ahead and just play this normal, and you can just sit through it, and I'll speed run part of it. Because I want to at least explain how the canceling works for the first roar. So after the first roar, we'll go ahead and just speed run the rest of it after that. So again, we're going to switch to Moon Knight. And we're going to do a 3, 4, 5. Jump in the air. Land. 2, 6. Wait for your 2. 2, 1, 3, 4, 5, 7. Jump in the air. 2, 1. Okay. 3, 4, 5. Jump. 2, 1. Okay, move around a little bit. Three, four, five, seven. Jump, two, one. You can pretty much use your seven twice in the very beginning, and then you can use it once in between each of the roars, if that helps. Uh, besides for that, you need to save that seven. So I'm actually not going to use seven here, because look how close I am to 209. And this is the important part, and this is what you got to remember. Because if you do not have that available, it is going to hurt your score. He's going to jump center. As soon as he's targetable, I'm going to do a 3, 4, 5, and then 7 right here. Jump, 2, 1. There's the cancel. All right, we'll speed this up just a little bit to the next roar. All right, note how I did not use... My 7 in my last rotation there. I am going to go ahead and attack since he's still targetable. I should have waited. Should have waited. That's all right. We'll make it work. We'll make it work. Hit 7 even though we're not in the middle of rotation because we want to get that cancel off. But I should have saved that rotation there. That's going to hurt my score because he was untargetable and I was basically just hitting air. When he jumps to center and he's untargetable, it's kind of frustrating. And you'll see I used the 7 there at the beginning. The first time 7 cools down after roar cancel, use it and then save it for the second time. Let me speed this up again. All right, with 38 seconds left, I'm not even using my 6. I'm going to go ahead and wait and do all of it as soon as he's targetable. So, 3, 4, 5. Use your 7. Jump in the air. 2, 6. And then we're going to do a 2, 1, 3, 4, 5. And as you can see here, for me at least, I'm consistently scoring less. So, I will break 11 million by using a striker cancel, but I'm consistently doing more by doing a swap to She-Hulk. So obviously you got to work with the resources that your team has and your account has. Uh, but there you go. There's a couple options for today. Hopefully that was helpful. Consider thumb up and commenting below. It helps the algorithm. And may your ABX scores be as high as possible. Catch you next time.